Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Um, I'm going to review El Maquillage Concealer um, Look Me, I'm Flawless. Um, so I've got 2.5. Um, I did that, I got the right shade for me using their Power Match um, on their website. I recommend doing it. I did it with the foundation and I did it with the concealer and both have been perfect for me. So um, without further ado, I've just done um, a video on the foundation and that set, so that's like 10 minutes ago. Um, I haven't got primer or moisturiser on because it's the end of the day, I just I wanted to show you how it looked. Um, the reason for these videos is, number one, I wanted to show how I apply it with um, a sponge because this is, it's new to me, the sponge, but I also am recovering from Covid and I feel I look terrible at the minute. So I figured what better way to show how good you can look with these products. Um, so without further ado. So uh, this is a sponge from Amazon. Um, I've wet it and I've scrozen out the remaining water. It helps blend a lot easier. Um, I never usually use a sponge because I didn't know you had to wet it. Um, before I'd try and it just took so long. Um, I just used brushes whereas now I prefer a sponge. It just makes it look much more flawless um, and even so I will use this I use this for the foundation and I'm about to use it for the concealer so here we go and um, 2.5 so it's you can see how much I've got left in this little glass bit here and um, so that's the wand so not too thick it's buildable so let's go in so I'm 34 and I have lines so I don't want to put it on too thick um, so it doesn't dry too quickly um, I have been able to put it all over there without it drying too quickly and having to like you know smudge mascara is also starting to go crap because it's the end of the day um so straight away you can see that i put it on this eye because of the light but it's kind of dewy is it dewy dewy it's just so brightening um you can just really just using a mirror you can just really see the difference already so i <clears throat> generally would use it under my eyes and then here as well because I get like red I don't do all the contouring sorry I just I just don't I don't want to put that much makeup on my face because I um I just oh, I just wouldn't like it I'm just not used to it but it's covered <laughs> covered the, the red I get there uh, I'm going to show you the other eye now. So I'm using the same, like I've not redunked it. Um, just there's loads on that brush. So I'll do my hair as well. I could do with like a smaller sponge. I bet I could cut that, you know do around this bit because I'm new to using this I've not got the knack for doing the inner eye yet just a bit there we go so look how bright that looks I don't look I mean I, my eye you can still see that I look tired and ill but just so much brighter So I can't remember if it's the concealer or the foundation that's vegan, one of them are, um, but I know that it's definitely cruelty free. Um, I used to use Estee Lauder um, foundation, which I've moved away from, and the concealer. They are great products, but they're just not cruelty free. Um, the Estee Lauder umbrella brand sell in China and by Chinese law you have they have to test on animals for them to be able to sell it in China I don't want to use products that are any part of that so 
uh, El Maquillage when they targeted me on Instagram. I tried it, didn't have a lot of hopes, um, but I absolutely am a convert now. Um, I love it. I've got, as I've mentioned, I've got foundation, <clears throat> the concealer, and I've got the primer, and I'm going to buy, they, they do these um, sponges, so I'm going to I'm gonna buy one. Um, it's quite dear, but I think the quality is, is worth it. Um, I'm going to use these Amazon ones while I get used to using a sponge. Um, but there you go, I hope that's helped. So this is El Maquillage um, and this is 2.5.